Hi, my name's Mark, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be taking you on a road trip to Chattanooga, Tennessee, my hometown, and we're going to visit a great local yarn shop there. This grumpy looking boy is Big Cat. He's our oldest and first cat. He's a wonderful guy. He's really happy. That's just his resting face. Right? In this video, I'll talk a little bit about what makes a local yarn shop a great yarn shop to me. Stick around to see my haul from this trip, as well as a giveaway for you. As always, thanks so much for watching and spending this time with me. Let's go. I grew up on Signal Mountain in Chattanooga, Tennessee. One of the most incredible parts of being home and of growing up here is the mountains themselves. These mountains are part of the foothills of the Appalachian mountain range, and they afford these incredible views. Here I am driving along the brow at sunrise, and in just a moment you'll see me taking the W Road, which is one of the roads that gets you up and off the mountain. And it's just incredible to drive up with these vistas, seeing the roads that are blast out of mountain rock, and the waterfalls making their way down. It always makes me feel lucky to be alive, and it's hard not to appreciate the beauty. So let's head to the Chattanooga Yarn Company, a local shop that I get to enjoy each time I visit home. Here we are at the shop. This store is located in Northgate Mall, and once we're inside, we see loads of kits, lots of shop samples, and I'll talk about some of the things I look for in a good yarn shop. I always hope to find variety. You'll see lots of books here, and then immediately you notice how colorful the shop is. It's well lit, and at first glance, it looks to be really well organized. Here are some Delac maker bags, a nice wall of yarn here, more kits, and also gift items, things like these candles. I think it's great when you have branding with gifts, bags, candles, keychains, things that non-knitters, non-crocheters would also appreciate. And then we get into the yarn. This first wall is a wall of fingering weight yarn. I'll talk a little bit more about the local yarns they offer later in the video. And another thing that makes a shop welcoming and a good place to visit is if the staff is friendly, welcoming, and can help you as you shop, which in my experience I've always found welcoming, helpful staff at this yarn shop. Plenty more bags here. And then we have a lot of notions and small gifts at the register. And on the opposite side of the store, we have more yarn. This is where we find worsted, bulky, and uh, DK weight yarns. This shop has some of my favorite yarns, like wool stock. They also carry a large selection of Malabrigo, especially their sock weight yarn. And here they have quite a bit of the spiral grain from Earth Yarns. This is the spiral grain in the light worsted weight, and they also carry it in the DK weight, or sport weight. I think it's technically sport. And then I noticed this, 40% off. It's always nice to find a sale rack, especially when you're shopping local. You can find deals that are just as good as a big box store uh, because it happens to be on sale or clearance. So all in all, this shop is one that I get excited about because they have a great variety of yarn. They also have a ton of products outside of fiber. They have a lot of notions, they have several bags, and like I showed before, gifts that are appropriate for 
non-makers, which is nice when you're doing your shopping, you might find things that you can give to others. Quite a few Coco Knits notions here. And a few more kits for people that like to grab and go. I visited this shop maybe three or four times in the last year on my visits home. And the shop is fairly new to Chattanooga. They've been open for, I think, a little over a year, maybe a year and a half now. And I read on their blog that they tried to do things in the right order. The owner, Dana, attempted to first get everything in store well stocked and organized before she moved to their online retail. And now that the shop is organized, the online retail is up and running, they've also added in-person classes and events through their store. So if you're local to Chattanooga or you're on a road trip and you might be passing through, I'd highly recommend checking them out. Now, how do I choose what I'm going to purchase when I'm just passing through by a local shop? So I look for what they carry that's actually made locally, whether that's spun or dyed locally. The first brand they pointed out to me is Night Bright, and the second that they carry that's locally dyed is Stella Luna, which I had actually seen on a previous trip, and I have some of this already in my stash. So my plan for today is to take home between $200 and $300 worth of yarn and notions, focusing on what's made locally. One of the employees also pointed out that all of these wood notions with the Chattanooga Yarn Company branding are made locally, so one of those will probably end up going home with me as well. The last thing I wanted to feature is their sticker collection. They're pretty great. Now that I'm safely home to snowy Ohio, I'll show you my haul. First, I have this shawl pin from Luca. I thought these were incredibly adorable. They had a few different creatures, but I loved the sheep. It's hard to resist sheep-themed items. So we've got the reversible sheep and then the pin to go with. And I'll demonstrate this on one of my crocheted shawls. I'll make sure I have both layers stacked together. I'll catch some of both layers with the pin and secure it. Now, if I had this on, both layers would stay held together, and I'm just working into the existing holes of my crochet. I like to use shawl pins when I'm wearing large shawls or even heavy scarves that don't like to stay put. One of my first projects was a cabled scarf that was really oversized, and so I would use a kilt pin to hold it in place once I put it on. I was living in the UK at the time, and there were kilt pins everywhere, so I bought one of those, but these sort of decorative pins I think are a great choice as well. The next item I brought home is one of the wooden notions that was made locally in Chattanooga, and this is a gauge ruler. So I have on one side of it centimeter measure, the other side inch measure, and then I have all of the holes uh, in which I can measure my knitting needles. These are great to have if your needles lose their embossed size, or if you find needles um, from a friend or a donation and you can't find sizing on it. So you just line your needle up with the gauge measures and see which hole fits the needle. Once you find that your needle goes through all the way, that's the right size. So in this case, that's a US 7 needle and I still have the measurement on my needle, but sometimes they're hard to read, or like I said, if that rubs off eventually, I would be able to find the size using a gauge ruler. And the remainder of my haul is yarn, specifically fingering weight yarn. I have four skeins here from Stella Luna, and all of these skeins are tweed yarns. I really love tweed. I think the tweed bits are always really playful and give a lot of personality to a project. This first color is Divination. I love the purple, the white and gray in with it. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful colorway. And something that I think goes really well with the purple is this yellow gold shade.
The second shade is Hunting Companion. And you get a lot of yardage with these, so I think you could make a myriad of projects with two skeins of fingering weight yarn. The next skein that came home with me is this beautiful variegated skein. I can imagine several different projects with something like this, with wood duck, that's the colorway. I love how warm the brown is, and then I also get some of that purple, like divination, included in the skein. And then this one, which I thought might be a nice shade for a good friend of mine, with the variety of greens. This shade is called Goddess of the Hunt. They're all hunting-related names. But again, I love the tweed. Sometimes it's hard for me to find tweed yarns. So I was excited to find these in Stella Luna's line and glad to bring them home with me. The other local yarn that was featured at Chattanooga Yarn Company came from Night Bright. This is, again, a sock yarn. It's their Bright Sock Base, which is a 75-25 Superwash Merino and Nylon mix. And this first colorway is Go Big or Gourd Home. They recently featured a whole line of colors based on gourds, autumn, and fall. I think this is a really beautiful colorway, a flexible green that could be used in lots of different projects. And then I was really taken with this next shade. This is Life is Gourd, and I loved the depth of it. And I also thought it's a great pairing with the first green that I showed. And here they are together. And the last skein of yarn I bought is another from Night Bright. I thought these purples are similar to the purples from Stella Luna, but here in a sock yarn with nylon, no tweed. And this is whale siding. I've got a lot of blue and purple in my stash, a lot of partial fingering weight skeins, so I thought this would play well with some of those that I already have, whether I do a scrap buster sweater or keep using them as um, smaller bits of color in multicolored projects. And that sums up my haul. I spent between $250 and $300 for all of this yarn. And if you've seen my enormous yarn haul video from the month of December, you know I don't really need any more yarn. So I plan to give away two pairs, two sets of this yarn. The first is the purple and gold skeins from Stella Luna. And then the other set is the green pair from Night Bright. And for this giveaway, I ask that you tag me on Instagram at MakerMarkKnits or on Facebook if you don't use Instagram. On Facebook, I'm at MakerMarkKnits as well. And to enter, I just ask that you tag me in a post telling me what you would do with this yarn. You have either the two skeins of green, the two gourd skeins, or the two skeins from Stella Luna. And I'd just love to hear what you would use them for, what kind of project, what the pattern would be, um, knit or crochet, it doesn't matter. I'd just love to connect with you a bit more. The contest will be open from January 21st through Saturday, January 27th at midnight. Once we hit midnight on Saturday, January 27th, I'll go through the tagged posts on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll choose one winner from each platform. Thanks so much for watching until the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of Chattanooga and Signal Mountain, and I hope you saw some things at the local yarn shop that you appreciated. As always, if you're new to my channel, I really appreciate you taking the time to subscribe for future videos. And if you're someone who watches regularly, leaving a like or a comment really helps me on the platform. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.